Okay, here we go, count down. In, hey, I'm counting down. Three, two, one, count down to countdown. Ooh. Oh, all right, hit it. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, look who's here to check out the action. Jay, the neighbor. What's going on, brother? Not much. Hmm. Well, he's uh, here to check out the countdown action. And what we're going to do is clean up some legs and friggin' assemble this thing. And Jay just come by to say hi, and all of a sudden I've roped him into helping me assemble this thing, apparently. Um, but yeah, we're going to potentially play our first game on this who knows we'll plug it in and see what happens first thing i got to do though as usual is polish up these legs and get rid of these nasty leg levelers uh, they're pretty crusty we can do better than that so give me a couple minutes to yeah take a look they're pretty gross looking but i think they're going to clean up nicely so I'll report back shortly. Oh yeah, countdown time. <laughs> Just talking about Matt's Humpty Dumpty. Uh, wonder we should have played that in league back in the league days. Maybe we'll get it up and running again one day. That's what we're we're kind of talking about. But uh, who knows what the future holds? For now, we got uh, the old levelers off, and these things did clean up nicely. They're a little smudgy. I gotta just buff with a dry cloth, it, but. They actually, look how shiny they are. Once I buff that out a little bit, it'll uh, shine up even a little more. And then new leg levelers. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll grab some brand new leg bolts as well. And uh, maybe do some of the uh, OG time-lapse Jay the Neighbor and I setup action. So be right back. All right. It is time to set up the countdown. And uh, we're going to do the old uh, time lapse. And hopefully in about two minutes time, we should be ready for action. So here we go. Okay, I was just gonna let the camera keep rolling, but we discovered something and it ain't necessarily good. Check this out. We're pulling out the wires. And, dun dun dun. What the F is going on here? Someone cut all these. Why, 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 why did they do that? Oh. <laughs> okay, the good news is is that whoever reattached them did a good job. They actually did a good job. So uh we can live with that. So um all right, well, why don't we trade spots here? You can check out the uh connecting of the circuit board. Right. I should have just let you do it. Be the apprentice in training. 
pretty straightforward though. Um, there is, we're missing something. There we go. The neck connector. Voila. You really can't uh, screw up anything. A1, J7, it's labeled on the board too. It's nice that uh, top one. someone went, took the extra step, label fell off that guy. But this just has its own wire memory, just kind of fits into place. Voila, voila. And A3J2. Hey, look, this is a newer connector. Someone, uh, that's the power connector. That was, someone did a good job by replacing that. Very good, whoever did that. Good this, on you. This is J14. Uh, J14? Yep, you're correct. It is used. And here it is. This side. Up. Oh, this is the power connector, I believe. Um, wait, no. That goes here. Ah. This side up, I believe, means like this. This is the connector that you can put on incorrectly. I think it goes this way. Or does it go this way? <laughs> I'm going to double check that before I power anything on. Because <laughs> this is Gottlieb's fatal flaw. Is there any way I could actually screw this up? You know what? Because they put on this style uh, female housing, you can't actually put this on the wrong way. Yay. So that's good. And this arrow, that's a one, or is that like a, a this side up? up. Or, oh yeah, one, one, yep. So. What about J14? J14, is J14 used? Um, let's look in the, in the neck here and see if we can see anything. I'm using the light. You see anything else down there? Well, we could always lift up the play field. All right, well, let's lift up the play field and see. We'll close this up. I thought all those connectors are used, but I so just, uh, so that's my spool trick. All right, let's see if we're uh, missing anything. Oh, hey look, we do have a ground wire here that we want to feed up into the head. And there's the other connector. Uh, J14. Nice, we found J14. So let's uh, feed those right back so we can access those. Nice. Yeah, we wouldn't have uh, found that ground if we wouldn't look for J14 probably. I don't even know where that goes. What, oh look. So this is like a additional ground mod someone made. That's where the ground goes. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll pass that back to you. All right, we got groundage. Well, they did a good job on that. Nice job, whoever did that. But yeah, whoever did it, <clears throat> if they were watching, they'd recognize their work. This, is that a new connector too? That well, looks like a new connector as well. Very good. This is a J6, oh, J14 is this connector here. This uh, edge connector is actually J6. It's labeled right there, so. Okay, that's it, we're connected. Close this up, close that up. And, all right, well, let's, uh, Electricity? Zoom out a little bit here. Okay, I'll uh, grab the camera. You grab the cord. Okay, I'm gonna come down here, <laughs> just in case it is powered on. Okay, Jay is gonna plug that in. In three, two, one. Okay, power is not on. I highly doubt we're gonna have a situation where this new circuit board is gonna blow up. So should we be looking at the circuit board when we power it on, or are we confident? We're confident. We're confident? That's okay. It's a shenanigander away. Okay, here we go. Countdown. In. Hey, I'm counting down. Three, two, one. Countdown to countdown. Ooh. Oh. 
There it is, P14X, P1X4, P14X, what is it? Okay, outhole, knocker, coil, that's going through its uh, little test. When you power on these boards, it runs a quick little solenoid test to make sure none of those solenoids are locked on. It has its own built-in like safety program, this board, which is awesome. Okay, upon first inspection, I can see we're in attract mode. Uh, B, looks like a couple displays might need a little bit of a charge. All the bulbs seem to be working. Let's take a quick peek in here. Yeah, okay. So all displays work, that's pretty freaking sweet. I was wondering about that, I was, I was skeptical. And here, let's check out the play field. We didn't hear any sounds yet, no. like yeah, upon, upon power up. No. Hey look. Extra balls pink, specials red. It's not LED, I can tell you that. Um, it does look like it's not very level just yet, but that's okay, that's a little further down the road. Okay, wait, before we power it on, we gotta grab our instruction card. <laughs> Otherwise we don't know how to play, because we gotta complete a group of drop target. That group for increased value and scores 5,000 points. Bonus multer is increased by completing groups of drop targets in sequential order. And then the bonus countdown hole lights when bonus value is 20,000. Okay. Gotta like this potential here for a possible just plug and play machine. It is rigged to free play. Oh yeah, right. I did notice that last time. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get ready for it. Here he is. All right, hit it. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Okay, uh, maybe it's not. It's in it. Look, it is true. We do have zero credits. Oh, okay. I thought the 67 was the credits. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks... Wait a minute. Maybe it is. It says number to match, though. 67 wouldn't be a matching number. Okay, we got the ball in the out hole. So, we are in the... This is the attract mode that comes with the new circuit board. Uh, normally, it doesn't look this friggin' cool. Oh, these, um... Oh, you just went into a uh, switch test, oh. or, uh... Yeah. Let's see what kind of... Exit. You gotta hit the start button to act. Did you get out? Yeah. How do we, uh... Act or are you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Credits in these Gottlieb ones, you can't access the switch. Unless you really remove the coin mech so i'll push that down this out although on these boards you should be able to set them to free play oh here's the other one these two guys here and like so now we can see the switch hey there we go ah -ha -ha. okay let's uh it's a little loud it's basically max volume but Oh, so the 67 was probably just like, uh, I think that's just a, like a code saying everything is all happy. Take two. Uh, okay, I'm going to come around this side. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, all right. Counting down to countdown in three, two, one. There we go. We out. are live. <laughs> we're, we're doing good already. All right. So what happened? is this drop target banks fell down for some reason. And I do hear a buzzing. I hope that's not a solenoid locking on. It could just be the transformer, but let's turn the machine on. And that buzzing is gone away, so it makes me think it was not the transformer that was buzzing. No stuck switches. Okay, stick that back in there. Uh, let's try and power it on again and see if that drop target. Take two. Take two. I think that's Oh, uh, there's some weird stuff happening. Okay. Yeah, so it's starting to buzz. Okay, I guess uh, what we'll do is... Uh, for sure, the solenoid doesn't seem to be working. And then the extra ball light came on and bonus lights came on, so... It could just very well be a stuck switch and a bad wire on a solenoid. What the buzzing is all about, I'm not sure, but uh, 
before we get to play this game, we're going to have to investigate and we'll probably level this thing up too if uh, we can actually get to that point. So we'll report back shortly. Okay, we found the culprit. The loud buzzing noise was this solenoid locking on. So good thing we turned off the machine so it didn't burn up the coil. But yeah, for whatever reason, the solenoid is locking on. So I uh, have to diagnose that. Could be a bad diode. It could be so many different things. It looks like a, the diode's been replaced. You know, they're not usually that far off the coil lugs. And these forty-year-old wires, maybe. <laughs> yeah, very well could be. I mean, it looks to me like someone's possibly replaced the diodes on every coil as a bit of a troubleshooting measure. Look at this, because they're never that far off of the solenoid. So. That's a good measure that someone took. There's another one. But, uh, so we'll have to investigate. Maybe one of these transistors is uh, bad. That could be it. And is there fuses under here? Do you fuses. see any? Uh, these guys here. I was wondering if there's individual oh, drop target fuses like on the system. Here we go. What is this? What are these for? Because maybe if one is for, like, we could take the fuse out of the drop target assembly and disable that for troubleshooting purposes. But I'm not sure what those are yet. We'll have to check the manual. And uh, a locked on coil is usually a bad transistor. So I'm going to suspect maybe one of these guys or... I don't think it's going to be part of the relay at all. One of the relays. Uh, we could try and reseating the connectors just to make sure everything's all connected, all happy. But okay, well, we'll report back. We'll uh, we'll see what we can figure out here. All right, looking at the schematics here. Uh, this looks like the two fuses here: two amp slow blow and two amp slow blow. Now, to me, it looks like red target bank green target bank, blue target bank, all appear to be on the same fuse here. But maybe for some reason the yellow target bank is on its own fuse? Does that sound right? But for sure, it's the blue target bank that we're having trouble with. It is tied into that transistor that I was showing you, 2N5875. But if the transistor was bad, would it just affect the blue target bank? Or would it affect any of these banks? I mean, it is the green target bank that's not resetting. So I think that if we disconnect this fuse that's tied to the blue, then we can kind of at least isolate the issue. And it is on a black blue wire. So let's take a look here. Where did it go? Here we go. Oh, so that is a black blue wire. So, sorry, this is all awkward. <laughs> we're going to disconnect this guy. And maybe now, at least for troubleshooting purposes, the uh, that bank won't lock up on us. Okay, we'll be right back. I think this uh, Pascal board yep. is too smart. It won't let us start a game. Check. Because it's saying check, but it's not really telling us what to check. Here, hit that again. It just says check. Oh, check. N8 or whatever N8 is. Probably a solenoid number. So it doesn't want us to play a game until we resolve what the actual issue is. So good job on the board, but uh, makes our troubleshooting. We're going to have to go a different angle here. So. I don't know what it is yet, but if I figure out anything, I'll report back. Okay, we didn't really do much. I reseated the connectors in the back box. Took the fuse out, put it back in. Yep, removed the fuse, installed the fuse. Oh, and I brought up the green drop target bank. because it. So I don't know if that actually is working yet or not. But I don't know why extra ball would be lit and special would be lit. But check this out. This is your skill shot. 
maybe you got to hit this rubber and then go in the saucer in order to get the skill shot because they program skill shots into these uh, old into these newer boards and um, you can either have them on or off so it's a pretty cool option but the buzzing is gone well, no, we, we don't know why the happens. buzzing is gone so here it is this is this is it we're going to try a test here and uh jay's the guinea pig as usual Let's get the skill shot oh so close yay that drunk card is working now oh it's oh. It, they're trying to reset and that's, oh, that's not kicking out. This kicked like four times, and then the machine probably shut itself off. Nope, still going. Oh, okay. Oh, the green target tank reset. Oh, oh I heard buzzing. No, we gotta, now. we gotta turn her off. <laughs> okay. The green target is part of the culprit. Yeah, I think it might be. So. All right, well, that was your gameplay video of Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Very short-lived. But this is going to take some uh, little more uh, thorough investigation, and I don't think that's going to necessarily happen right now. But who knows? We'll dinker around a little bit here. Um, I'll probably wrap up this video for now. If uh, I do discover anything interesting or exciting in terms of resolution, then I will give you some bonus footage. But I guess otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, and Jay, thanks for helping. All right, we were mucking around and mucking around and mucking around, going through switch tests, solenoid tests. Weird things were happening. You'd hit this switch, and this drop target bank would go off. You'd go into this switch, and this drop target bank would go off, but this solenoid wasn't working. Everything was all messed up. So we're going through all the diagnostics, and light bulb moment. You may have noticed it. What does this say? Close encounters. It's actually uh, because I guess the game was stored long enough, the memory went bye bye and it just defaulted to close encounters, not countdown. So I think we just got to go into the settings here. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Audits, tests, dip switch. Dip switch. Probably dip switch, yeah. Shoot configuration. Shoot to five ball, enable match feature replay. Uh, I'll mess with all these settings later. Up to 25 credits, there's our max credits. Separ off coin shoot. Oh, if you want the coin shoots to register separately or together. Uh, and we also noticed that the thousand point chime wasn't working or noise. But that is, and we also notice everything seemed to score 400 points and we we're wondering there's like some scoring issues, but now it all makes sense. Coin tune, end. Okay, so I guess that's not what we want. You know what? I think it's uh, presets. I think that's what it is. Origin, wizard. Oh, original, original settings or wizard mode settings. Sure. Oh, okay, that's not what I want though then. Erase. No, that's end. So maybe it's not presets. Language. It's not audits, not test. We don't think it's dip switches. Presets. Isn't it presets? Language. Okay, well, I won't bore you with this any longer, but we're going to turn it to countdown and uh, we'll be back. We're off. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. The trick is you have to hit the friggin' button within five seconds or else it does. you can't find the game in the settings because we just spent 10 minutes going through every friggin' setting and we couldn't find game setting. But you have to press the, that coin door button within five seconds to get to this menu. What is that? Hexago? Movie, Cleopatra, Sinbad, Joker Poker, Dragon, Solar Ride, Countdown. Okay. Now let's hit the coin door button. Boom. We are counting down 
to count down yet well, again. Let's try this again. Okay, you got a ball in the out hole? Let's see. Uh, no, it's uh, maybe in the cabinet. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, Who would have thunk? Nope. The memory just went blank. It had a bad memory being in storage. Okay, so I'll, actually I'll zoom in on the play field more. Here, let me zoom in here. Okay, countdown to countdown number three, two, one. Whoa. It's not buzzing. No buzz? No buzz. Let's see if this solenoid works. Hey, it's not locking up on us. But, okay, we have definitely established Wow, that is loud. That the thousand point sound effect is dead. So I saw like three components on the soundboard. I bet one is for each sound and one of those is probably bad. So the bonus countdown. <laughs> so yeah, every ball like resets each drop target individually, each drop, drop target bank. Which, I wonder if it does that on the original software, because if it does them all at once, that is four large solenoids firing all off at the same time. And uh, Jan and Pascal might have um, programmed them to go individually as preventative measures. I wouldn't be surprised. He did stuff like that when I had the uh, Pascal board on the Hulk. Uh, there was some extra software programmed in there so the ball wouldn't get stuck in that little up kicker on the left or right side. Anyway, custom software with these flip boards is a bonus. Get your attract mode, your ball save. I don't know if we turned on ball save. That's pretty cute. I do like that, how they all come up individually. There's the skill shot. So. We have life. We are counting down Jay's balls to zero. <laughs> uh, definitely gonna have to level this bad boy. But hey, bonus footage of actual gameplay. We figured it out. I thought the issues were way too strange. It's like this doesn't make any friggin' sense. Well, it does now, because we were playing Cleopatra. Was it Cleopatra? No, what were we playing? Uh, Close Encounters. Close we're trying to play Coast Encounters on a uh, countdown play field. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. Hey. So the only, and you got a match. The only uh, issue that we really know of now is just the thousand point sound. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. All right. That's the end of your bonus footage. And uh, episode two is uh, complete. Uh, we'll uh, hit you up on the next one then. See ya.